One of the things I like about designing is if it goes wrong, you can try again. Why can't life be like that? Because if you take a chance and it doesn't work out, then, then it feels like you've been shoved onto the catwalk and there's nowhere to hide. So what do you do? Do you play it safe? Or do you take a chance and risk getting your heart cut to pieces? Except, as scared as I am, I know what happens if I wait too long. Sam, I wanted to tell you I... Hey, Nyla. So, I've been thinking, maybe life can be like designing. Maybe with Sam, I can try again. We're electrically connected, we're lighting our own way. We got this all together, no matter what they say. We'll weather any storm and we'll ride it to the end, just stay connected. Don't wish it away. I hope we'll always stay. Electric friends. Good job, Midge. Three, four. Okay, so I've got my luckiest plaid shirt and I made notes. No, 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 no. You cannot tell Sam how you feel using cue cards. You need to speak from the heart and feel ready inside and out. Well, I'm wearing the Perfume Risk by Be Yourself and I made a playlist. Well, three, one for before and two for after, depending on how it goes. Yep, you're ready inside and out. Our little girl is all grown up. And she's got this! <laughs> OK. And Lee and Lenny. Hey, Miss Malik, come listen to this dream I had when we were all onions. I guess I'll tell him later. No, so it, it started on the moon when I was an onion farmer and, and you were all... But when I do, and, and it'll be I... perfect. Sam, wait. You can't get on that train. Why not? Because you can't leave. You can't leave when... when you're meant to be with me. Nyla, you have no idea how long I've waited to hear you say those words. I know. Train station and fireworks. <laughs> See? Pretty cool, right? It's easy to think of footwear as something frivolous, as something Kim Kardashian spends too much money on. We don't have to throw everything out and buy more. We can take the old and refurb it. I want you to take these trainers and make them new. Uh, Ali, other people's feet have been in these. You live. I'm not so sure. A lot of people have foot diseases. And a lot of people have to wear whatever they can afford. Lee, stop making me think about poor people. Now? Maybe not. I'm surrounded by shoes and not in the romantic Cinderella way. You do know it doesn't count if you cheat, right? This isn't cheating. It's winning inventively. Hey! Guess what I got? <gasps> Mr. Nutty's Nut Bars! You know you paid double because it's got that stupid cartoon squirrel on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry. It is definitely more economical to buy the own brand. But who cares? 
I love Mr. Nutty. Hey, they're for our viewing party. I cannot believe it's the finale already. Who should she date? It's decision time. I'm gonna die if she picks Brandon. Oh, and look what I've got to use if she picks Tom. What's wrong? Oh, I totally forgot about it tonight. We're going to the football. But we've been looking forward to it. Don't drag me into this. It's up to you, Lex. I'm really sorry, Midge, but we won't be back late from the football and we can watch it on catch up after, OK? I'm gonna go get a drink. Does anyone want anything? Oh, yes. I want a smoothie. Okay. Oh, Samuel, wait. I don't want just any smoothie. I want one with bananas, blueberries, and pine nuts. And if they try and use peanuts instead of pine nuts, can you just. Threaten them with a complaint to the college board, the possibility of unemployment and loneliness for the rest of their natural lives? Oh, exactly. I love how you just get me. <laughs> well, that was a disgusting little interchange. Oh, what's wrong, Jamie? Are you jealous? Hardly. I mean, there's nothing to be jealous of. You might be all cutesy, but you two wouldn't work as an actual couple. Why not? Simply put, Nelly, he's out of your league. It's not. We're the exact same league. We're both tens, and the rest of you are sevens on a good day. Yeah, I mean, it's not about looks. He's much smarter than you. There's no way he'd take you seriously as a girlfriend. He does, too, take me seriously as a girlfriend. He's actually much more serious about the relationship than I am. You and Sam, together? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure he would have told me. We probably would, but you weren't speaking at the time. When? After the mid-year show. He was coveting me after you ruined everything. Oh. Well, that's why he let me have his room when I had nowhere. And he comes with me to feed the ducks. And you've all seen how much time we've been spending together. See? We just fit. Right. So... Sam! Wait! You can't get on that train. Of course he can't. Not without me, anyway. Should we get out of here and leave Nyla far, far behind? Yes, let's. If you know anyone in the world with worse timing than me, then please let me know. Dude! Dude, I can't believe you didn't tell me. I'm beginning to think that this is what my moon-based onion dream was about. Tell you what? Because in my dream, my onion is smaller than your onion, and I thought maybe that means that you still don't trust me. I trust you with what? Because onions are tasty, but they stink. They stink of secrets. <gasps> That's the point. I'm the onion. I'm an onion. That's the point, isn't it? You're not an onion. OK, that's, that's good to hear. Still, why didn't you tell me? Uh, for the last time, I'll tell you what. About you and Nisha being a thing. She just told me. She told everyone. Nisha told everyone that me and her are a thing? Yeah. Lily, I, I just, just need to... Do... Look at you. Right, here, try a bite. What? Don't you like it? I don't really think that noodles and jam goes together. Well, that's mean. I spent ages making it. I'm amazed you found the time. In between spreading rumours that me and you were a thing. I, I didn't do that. Say that. If someone said that, it wasn't me. Nish, be honest with me. OK, but it was an accident. Also, I wasn't lying. I was repackaging the truth. It's different. Can you explain how? No! Are you mad at me? Well, I'd have a higher opinion of you if you just came clean. 
Well, I'd have a higher opinion of you if you let people think it was true. So then I wouldn't have to look so bad. Niche, I'm not going to do that. Well, then you're a bad friend. Well, maybe, but I don't think letting someone keep up the pretense is being a very good friend. No. You know, I have to tell everyone straight away. I don't want to tell people at all. Yeah, but you can. You're stronger than you think. Hey, who won? Uh, the one throwing blue one, which is us. So, yay, go us. <laughs> cool. Oh, it was so much fun, Midge. But not the game, though, because no matter what Dale says, it's hard to care whether a ball goes in a net. But it was fun watching his little face, because he gets so involved. Look. Oh, he looks so stressed, right? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, can we watch our programme now? Yeah, look, look, this is when they almost scored. Isn't his hopeful face so adorable? Mm-hmm. What did he say? How'd it go? He's with Nisha. Uh, but I really don't want to think about it, so can you guys please distract me? OK, come sit. We're looking at photos of Dale, but we can uh, do something different if you don't want to. Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> this is him shouting at the ref. It's yeah. so cute, right? <laughs> than it needs to be. S sorry, what, what are you doing? I'm just doing what you ask. Kind of just go with it. It's over, Samuel. I know this must be a shock because you're so in love with me, but I'm young. I need to live my life and I just can't be with someone whose feelings are so intense. Um... You're smothering me, Samuel. I'm sorry, but as special as it's been, me and you, we're over. I mean, I was gutted about them being together, but it is far better than seeing Sam sad. I am so sorry. Is there anything I can do? That was... Weird? I mean, yeah. Are you okay? We should go to class. Right. OK. So, are you sure you're OK? I'm mostly confused. Sam, I just heard. <laughs> She's an idiot. I mean, look at you. You beautiful man with your soulful eyes and your hair that always stays up. OK, okay thanks. Um, but honestly, I'm fine. In fact, I'm more than fine. Except now I'm a subject of conversation. Great. They'll get over it. Hey, um, when you're done, can I have your trainers? And why would that be, Lee? Uh, I, I called a homeless shelter last night. They said that decent trainers would mean a lot to the people there. Good idea. Uh, OK, listen up, everybody. After I've marked your trainers, Lee will be collecting them to send off to the homeless shelter. But... Oh. but, but and I hope you're happy about it, because if you're not, I will deduct a grade for selfishness. Hey, you going out? Um, I've got a shoot for, I want to say, hairspray, hair gel, something hair, but I'll see you later. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, and hey, I've managed to avoid any 
who should she date? Spoilers. So, do you want to watch it tonight? Like, we are overdue a girly night, and I've got this new nail art kit I want to try. Oh, fun! Dale is always saying how he wants to know what we get up to on those nights. It'll be hilarious to finally see. Why would Dale be there? It's a girl's night. Isn't that a bit gender biased? Well, I hardly ever see you anymore. And when I do, Dale's there. But I just want to spend one night in with you. Is that too much to ask? No, but I just want you to make an effort with my boyfriend, and I don't think that's too much to ask either. Well, you broke our tradition to go to the football. Because you just don't get what it is to be in love. Does it mean talking like a different person? I'm not. It's, it's just... It's definitely more economical to buy the own brands. I'm just gonna go. I don't want to be late. Since when? Since! <sighs> Do you want a girls' night tonight or not? Does it include Dale? Yes. Then no, I don't want to hang out with him because I don't like him. I... That, that came out wrong. I, I didn't mean to say... Yes, you did. It's fine. You're just being honest. Lex! So, uh, we have tissues, we have ice cream. I've downloaded High School Musical 3 because it's the perfect breakup film. Did we do okay? Or would you rather be on your own? Or uh, do you want a hug? Because one of them can do it. No, no, um, thank you, all of you, but um, I don't need any of this stuff because I'm not getting over a breakup. Nisha and me were never together. Okay. Processing this new information. Sam, wait! All trains have been cancelled. I am waiting. In fact, I've always been waiting. Maybe my timing isn't terrible. I mean, cool that you're not heartbroken, but can we still watch High School Musical 3? I kind of have this dance, it's such a classic. I mean, it's not, but, um, we do have ice cream. <laughs> um, maybe a bit later right now, I've got to go and do something. Come in! Unless I hate you, in which case, go away and think about why that is. Oh, you can come in. I don't hate you. Also, I've been waiting all day for you to tell me I'm a genius. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, Niche. Why not? You told me to fix a problem, I fixed a problem. No, I told you to tell the truth, and you ended up just telling a bigger lie. So? No one thinks we're going out anymore? Because they think you dumped me. What am I supposed to do next? Cry publicly just to sell it? If you could, that'd be great. Look, when you lie, it just leads to more lies, and then more lies, and then you just expect everyone around you to go along with it. How have you not realised that yet? Yes, I have, but I don't know how else to be. Well, so that's it then. Being friends with you just means keeping up with all your lies. You shouldn't ask me to change, Sam. You should accept me for who I am, and I am a liar. I'm actually really good at it. No, you're not. Every lie you've told has been found out. Well, things still work out for me. Yeah, they work out for everyone else. Nish, I don't think that I can keep up. My friend, You're my best Look, friend. What you, what you said before that that was right. Like I should accept you for who you are, but that works both ways. I don't like lying. That is like a big part of who I am, and you shouldn't try and change that about me either. So what do we do now? I don't know. Maybe it's best we just go back to how things work. <laughs> Oh, your friend dumping me. No, no, Nish, look, 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 I care about you. I'm always going to be there. Oh, don't patronise me, Samuel. I don't need you. I don't even care. OK. I just think it's really unfair because, obviously, I'll be fine without you, but we feed the dogs together. I mean, what about the dogs? Do you even think about them? <laughs> well, no, but I'll always be there for the ducks. Maybe the ducks don't need you either. I mean, if you can't handle them and how brilliant they are, then shame on you, Sam Warner.
This is amazing. So, I am back in the lucky plaid shirt and I smell of Risk by Be Yourself. I'm almost ready. Sam Warner. Nyla Malik. I need to tell you something. Okay. And I will do that any moment now. Okay, here goes. I like you. And not as a friend. Wait, no, that's not right. I, I like you as a friend. I definitely like you as a friend. You're one of my best friends. I, I just mean, um, I like you in the other way, too. I'm trying to ask you out if you haven't got that by now. Yeah, um, I like you in the other way, too. You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's great. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to feel less like I'm going to puke now, so... But... What? But I, I can't go out with you. We have awful timing. That was then. It's, it's not now. Well, no, no but it's sort, of, it's sort of now as well. Because, like, if, if we were meant to be together, we, we it would have happened ages ago. It would, it would have happened when I made you brooch out of a paperclip in the first two weeks. It would have happened when I gave you a cookie that was meant to look like a pumpkin. Or it would have happened when I broke up with Satori. Um, we, we've had all these moments that should have ended in us getting together, and, then, and they didn't, but that's fine. It's, I just think maybe there's a reason. Like, I think maybe um, we're just meant to be friends. OK. Okay. Yeah, you've made some, some pretty good points. Uh, I think it's better for friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is good. It's a good chat. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Maybe we should go to class. Yeah. Um. You go though. I'll um. I'll, I'll catch up. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cheesy as it is, this moment needs capturing. Aww. I can't believe we did it! <laughs> I still keep having my nightmare that my final piece isn't finished, so I start eating all the paint and turn into the paint monster. Mate, I think you need to let that go. <laughs> the next stage of our lives... It's great to imagine us lasting like that. But after everything that's happened... We have terrible timing. That was then. 
not now. Like I think maybe um, we're just meant to be friends. It's fine. I'm okay, seriously. I can handle rejection. Maybe it'll be better this way. Maybe our friendship will be stronger than ever. Hey. Hi. I'm gonna... Or not. You off to a shoot? No, I'm seeing Dale, even though you don't like him, because I do, and you don't get to tell me what to do. Yeah, of course. You can do what you want. Have fun. He's your boyfriend. I'm cool with it. It's all definitely fine with me. You sure? Because you've just put about eight sugars in your tea. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Sorry. I'm sorry too. Not about the sugar, but about. I know. So, do you want to do something later? Yeah, but um, much later. Dale needs a new duvet cover and some drawer handles. Oh, sounds like you're giving his place a Lexi makeover. <laughs> Let me guess. You think it's a stupid idea? No, no, it's super sweet. Can you believe he hasn't even owned one scented candle? <laughs> he said his house has never looked so good. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is. He's really lovely, Midge. You just don't know him. If you give him a chance, I know you'll like him. Right. Yeah, probably. So will you make an effort to get to know him? For me? OK. Promise? Promise. Pinky promise? The most sacred promise of all promises. Pinky promise. <sighs> Oh, thanks. I thought, you know, why not? It's a good day. I'm fine, so I should dress like I'm fine. So you're not fine? What? I just said the opposite. I'm learning to read the signs. The opposite speak is one of them. <sighs> OK, well, the truth is I'm not fine. I told Sam how I really feel about him, and he knocked me back. But it's OK. I am heading towards fine, as I have decided. Adversity will make our friendship stronger. Just decided to make it true? No, it is so awkward between us. But you're gonna try and fix that? Yeah, just, you know, as soon as I figure out how. Everyone. I'm sure you're all bursting with excitement about your next essay assignment. Oh. Pretty much what I was expecting, so let's move on. OK, art doesn't exist in a vacuum. Take the Dadaists, or the Impressionists, the YBAs, or the Surrealists. It's often the way that artists inspire each other and become friends that creates a movement. So. I want 3,000 words on just that. It can be about any group of artists you like, but I want you to examine how they changed and grew together. The deadline will be this time next week. I suggest you work in pairs. Do you want to work together? Wow, you have never asked me that before. And also, yeah. <laughs> I'm so bored. I didn't come here to write essays. I came here to paint and to meet pretty girls. Right, yeah, but can we, can we talk about some other things, please? What, like, not girl things? Exactly. Because of what went down with you and Nyla? I pick up on vibes like that. And words in sentences. Lee told me. <sighs> The pre-Raphaelites don't seem entirely boring. Are you... Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I'm just planning my next move. That sounds vaguely terrifying. Maybe I should just 
go over there and start talking and then keep talking until all the silences are just filled. And that sounds tiring, but effective. Uh... Oh, actually, I wasn't quite uh, done with... <gasps> oh! Don't worry, it's not like we've not been here before. Are you uh, uh, sure you've got everything you need? Um, no, actually. Um, what if there's a zombie apocalypse? I couldn't survive with just this. I'd, I'd need a, a pen knife and at least some shoes I can run in. Yeah, well, on the plus side, this book on design and technique in three-dimensional textiles could definitely take out a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. At least now I'm ready for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> what? You know, the zombie apocalypse. Thanks. <sighs> Sam? <laughs> I can't believe it's you. It's been years. Sorry, and you are? Nyla. Nyla Malik. We were friends at college. Sorry, you know, you look kind of familiar. I just can't place you. Right. That's the thing with some friends. Yeah, I guess you just grow so far apart that you don't even remember them. We used to be cute awkward, and now we're just awkward awkward. What did Ali say about groups of artists being friends? How about the lost generation? Do you think these guys have the same problem? Uh, yes. Uh, all groups of people do, because people are terrible. But they look so cool and glamorous. Yeah, they're lying for the camera. Inside, they're miserable. You know, I get that these artists didn't get on with each other all the time. They argued, they fell in and out of friendship, in and out of love. But when they wanted to hang out, they still chose each other. I think I know how to bring us all together. OK, it's going to work. Okay, listen, trust me. We should have a dinner party. What? Why? Because we're 30 years old and just got a great deal on our pension. No, because we can eat and talk and I've got this really great idea which will be amazing for the assignment. Lee, don't tell me you agree to this insanity. Under duress. You hate pointless conversation. That's all dinner parties are. True, but I've been sat next to her in the library for three hours. She's relentless. Yeah. Lenny, you've got to accept fate. It's impossible to resist. I'm, I'm up for it. It sounds good, like all of us together. I'll cook. No. No, I can't eat tin soup again. No, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll cook, cook. Like, actual ingredients will be used. OK, well, then I have no choice. 7 p.m.? OK, sounds good. See, fixing it. Be calm, child. Not there yet. Working hard on your essay, I see. Well, I'm not researching, because working in pairs is disgusting. But I'm being productive. I'm creating. Oh, right. Creating what, exactly? It's snow on snow on snow. It's abstract. <sighs> Great, you're winging it again. Nisha, I thought we got past this. You've actually been making an effort this term. It hasn't got me anywhere. It's got you better grades. OK, but what's the point in good grades when when what, Nisha? No one notices or cares. I notice and care. Ali, you know that that's not what I'm talking about. I do. And honestly, Nisha, I thought more of you. I didn't have you down as the type of girl to care so much about the opinion of a boy. You should do things for yourself, not him. And ruin the snow. Mm -hmm. I'll be right.
Where's the common room gone? <laughs> it's just so subtle. Yeah, I've never really been very good at subtle. <laughs> it's based on the lost generation. They were just this really cool group of artists and writers. And I kind of have an obsession with the aesthetic of Paris in the 20s. <laughs> And Hemingway wrote how they all drank well and cheaply and ate well and cheaply and just loved each other. You know Hemingway was a misogynist. Yeah, but he could write. Oh, and I made his outfits. Of course, because, because I can't do subtle. And I love that about you, but... Is this maybe a bit much? I mean, do you want to stop or just breathe at least? No. There will be no breathing until everything is okay. Got it. It smells good. Thanks. What is it? A uh, uh, mushroom risotto. I make it sometimes for uh, my mum and Nancy. Cool. You look really good, by the way. Oh, um, thanks. Loving the outfits, Mrs. Malik. I look amazing. Oh, you both do. Thanks for making the effort, guys. <laughs> I guess that's my cue to go and get changed. Oh, no, no, I, I, I didn't mean... You are making an effort because you're cooking and... It's, it's fine. It's fine. I was going anyway. Okay. Okay. Nyla, this is your shindig, so please kick us off, because if we are reduced to talking about the weather, we'll pay. Well, I made character cards, so it seems like a good place to start. Ah, bonjour. I am Picasso, and I'm very French. Spanish. What? But we are in Paris, no? Oh, oui, but you are still uh, Spanish. Oh, wow, I need to do more research. I can't even pronounce my full name. Hmm, actually, what is your full name? Please don't make me do it. But, Lenny, you love to entertain. And this will be entertaining. All right. Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula, Juan Nepomuceno, María de los Remedios, Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso. Ah. And uh, who are you? I am Zelda Fitzgerald. Ah, the legend of Zelda. I know her well. Mr. Hemingway. The detail in that fake moustache is truly a work of art. Mm, well, that's good to know, because I'm pretty sure I used a permanent marker. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's working. Everything looks like it's going to be OK. <laughs> or not. OK, dude, no offence, but even I wouldn't need that. This garlic bread looks like it could be used as an offensive weapon. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that I messed that one up. It's not that bad. I mean, seriously, Nyla, it looks like something died in a saucepan. Well, I want to try some. You really don't have to do that. No, I, I know. I want to. It's something you make for your mum and Nancy, so hit me. Those mushrooms are really great. <laughs> What's that other taste? Charcoal. Lemon, right? <laughs> you are far too nice. <laughs> oh. oh, get out of the way, Jamie. I'm not in the mood. What are you going to do? Hit me again. Only if you deserve it. Do you see what's going on in there? Since when were they one big happy family? Since now, apparently. So none of us get to eat or watch TV because they're being gross? I do have half a pasta salad if you want it. I'm not that desperate. Have 
finish with Dale's flat makeover? Because I actually need to talk to you about him. You promised you'd give him a chance. I know, but you need to hear this. So, you know how you missed Lenny's party? Because it was the anniversary of Dale's mum dying. Yeah? Well, it wasn't. The party and when she died aren't even in the same month. How do you know when she died? I was looking at her memorial page on Fishbowl and the date's on there. You can check. I can't believe this. I, uh, I know. I mean, why would Dale lie? I don't understand. Not him, you. I know things have changed between us and you don't get me all to yourself anymore. But stalking a dead woman online, I, I never thought you'd go that low. It was an accident. Well, you accidentally stalked a dead woman online? Yes. <sighs> I'm in love, Nidge, for the first time in my life. I didn't think that meant I had to lose my best friend. But I guess it does. Uh, Lexi! You know you can stop. I don't like to waste food. Oh, good. That is probably the attitude you're going to need for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I think the food might be better. You think a zombie would be a better chef than me, Malik? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> That's probably fair. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Oh, read it. OK. In World War I, Ernest Hemingway signed up to become an ambulance driver. The things he experienced changed him. When he arrived home, he was not yet 20, but he had a maturity that separated him from those around him. Dad, why don't you just do us all a favor and go? Not long after, he left for Paris because he thought it was where the most interesting people in the world lived. And he was right. Plus, that's where you met us. Well, not us, but you know what I mean. <laughs> As a student, Picasso lacked discipline, but not passion. You know, it's all very well doing technically brilliant paintings, but what's the point if they don't mean anything? He became one of the most prolific painters of all time, continuously changing his medium to find new ways to express himself. <laughs> Gertrude Stein's uncorseted mode of dress caused comment, and she was described as not caring a jot. <laughs> Why? because you're malicious, petty, and you lack imagination. She described her writing as portraits designed to evoke the excitingness of pure beauty. Zelda Fitzgerald was initially only known for her looks. She was underestimated, even by her own husband. She struggled with anxiety and insecurity, this is your voice, Nyla. Listen to it. She kept on painting and writing, and in the end, Zelda Fitzgerald proved to be a great artist in her own right. It was Gertrude Stein who called them the lost generation. OK, now I can breathe. I've been looking for you. Why? I was very clear. Yeah, but I've got nothing else to interest me right now. What are you doing? Painting my pain. Everyone else does it, so why can't I? You can. It's, it's good. I don't care what you think. Doing this for myself is making me feel better. Why do you need to feel better? I thought you'd be happy now you don't have Sam smothering you. Right. I am. So happy. You should know that. I don't care. About what? About the fact that you lied. <laughs> About the fact that the whole thing was staged. Honestly, everyone's so giddy two shoes around here. At least you make life more interesting. I do, don't I? Mm. Yeah, and so do I. So I'm going to do something that I never do and offer again. I've got half a pasta salad here. If you want it. Fine. I'm bored of being good now anyway.
Okay, there is a big and unnatural gap between you guys. It's not. It's fine. Okay, what's going on? Ask her. Ask her. I'm kind of asking you both. But if you're not going to tell me, it's fine. I will sit on the sofa, turn on the TV, and let you guys decide whether a fight is worth sacrificing a friendship as beautiful as these meerkats. Midge, please, can you show me that thing you found? Knock, knock. Thanks. How does Lenny always get out doing the washing up? I think it is one of his many superpowers. <laughs> like how he's always wearing clean clothes, and I never see him wash them. I think he might post them to his dad in Germany. I buy that. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Oh. Sure. It's kind of personal. Well, then you can ask it, but I might not answer it. Fair. Why did you say no to Nyla? I... I saw your face when she was eating your food and... I don't think you just like her. I think you love her. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. I want to give you an honest answer. Just can't. Growing up, I always made clothes for my sister. Lena, what's wrong? What's wrong is I can't go to Nikki's party because I hate this stupid top and everyone's going to make fun of me. Whoa, that is not going to happen. A, because that is a really cute top and B, if you don't like it, just wear something else. I don't have anything else. As someone who has been there before, let me see what I can do. What do you think? I think yay and thank you. Dad, check out my top. Nyla fixed it for me. Impressive. Really impressive. You could make a living out of that. Before that moment, it was just something I did. It made me happy, and I didn't think it could be anything more. So yeah, making clothes for my sister pretty much changed my life. Which is why I am obsessing, because in 10 hours, she and Dad arrive. So what do you think? Jacket or no jacket? Ask your dad. Last summer, I was wearing a summer dress, and he was like, it's gonna rain. I was like, nah! I got drenched. I think he's got power. <laughs> yeah, I definitely trust him more than the weather app. Um, what are you doing? I'm making Dale my magic happy lunch. Oh, I love your magic happy lunch. But does Dale really deserve it? Well, sort of, because I'm going to confront him about the lying and everything, and that's not fun, so... balance out a serious conversation with some popcorn sweets. Do you think it's killing the magic happy lunch if it all goes wrong? Listen, I've got to go, but Lex, remember, the magic happy lunch is unkillable. Nyla, cut it out. I'm gross from the plane. Ignore her. She's just crabby from traffic. It's so good to see you. It's annoying Mum had to work. She sends her apologies. And? Stolen bread! <laughs> Are we going in or not? Yeah, it's just that way. 
I mean, she'll start acting like my cute, lovable sister any moment now, right? OK, so the first thing that I wanted to show you... <sighs> Behold, my latest masterpiece. I made it just for you. What do you think? It's pretty. You say pretty as if pretty is a bad thing. I like it. Are you sure? Because I, I, I can make some adjustments. And... No. It, don't change a thing. It's perfect as it is. Now, didn't you say you wanted to show us your portfolio? Oh, yes. Just this way. You're quiet. I'm always quiet. How's Mel? Don't call her Mel. OK, sorry. How's your mum? Don't know. We haven't spoken since the mid-year show. Mum! Hey, over here. Do you have to yell like you were raised on a council estate? Why do you have to force people to look at those sorts of things? So what makes her stand out? I never pictured you as someone happy. To be honest, I was starting to think you might be a lesbian. What, she hasn't phoned you? Or texted you, or sent a stupid selfie? My mum always does that. No, but it's OK. That's normal for me and her. Uh, OK, so this is happening. Is this weird now that we're no longer together? Yeah, a little bit. It'll get less weird, though, I think. I think so, too. And does this magic happy lunch have any nutritional value? Yes. All the colours represented. We have green, orange and neon blue. You can't actually achieve anything in life without a regular dose of neon blue. I guess I'll eat it. So why do you lie about the date that your mum died? Well, what? That was a sudden swerving conversation. Why did you? I didn't want to believe her at first, but I saw her memorial page online and... And unless it's wrong, she didn't die when you said she did. OK, yeah, I lied. But I didn't lie about the fact that I miss her or that I was thinking about her that night. You could have just said that. The thing is, I'm in love with you. So I, I only ever want to be with you. So I don't always handle it well when you don't want to be with me. I know you haven't been in a relationship like this before. But sometimes things are difficult, you know? We just have to work through it. It's tough. It's weird. Yeah? I was mad at you, but now I just feel bad. I'm sorry. It's OK. OK, so she's basically ignoring me. It's OK. I mean, it's not like I imagined... Lena! <laughs> I've missed you so much. You're the world's best sister. No, you're the world's best sister. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow, everyone must find our incredibly close sisterly bond so annoying. But everyone else is in us. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket design is outstanding. Can you make me one? With or without the cape? With? Why not? <laughs> Can we do something else now? I'm so bored. Lena, don't no, be rude. No, no, it, uh, it's OK. Um, I can introduce you to Lee. Well, I like her. Well, she doesn't talk much, so... Fun. But she's with Lenny right now, so... See, and then it occurred to me, it's all just soap. 
I mean, think about it. Shampoo, showering gel, washing up liquid, detergent. It's a conspiracy to get us to spend more money, which is why I've started to use soap on everything. And it's really working for me. How so? Well, my food always smells clean. <laughs> Interesting. But you've reminded me I need to go and pick up some things. So uh, thank you for your insights, Lenny. <laughs> and uh, I won't be long. OK, Dad, see you later. Bye. Your hair's looking a little more crunchy. Hey, it's much easier to mould now. <laughs> Is it, though? Yeah. My, uh, my hand's not stuck. It's, it's just resting <laughs> on my head. Hey, Lena, do you want to see what we're developing? Sure. It's for the foundation yearbook. And it's almost done, so don't touch. She won't. She's cool. Right. I'm very cool. Do you want to learn my signature fist bump? Yeah, and I'll teach you mine. Hang on. Um, hang on. Yeah. No, you have to go. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go. Well, at <laughs> least she's having fun now. <laughs> Can I learn your signature fist bump? Lena, have I done something wrong? I doubt it. You never do anything wrong. What's that supposed to mean? Lex! <gasps> Lena Payne! <laughs> oh. How'd it go? Good, I think. Um, he said some things and we had a mature discussion. Mature discussion? What's happened to you? Um, nothing. Maybe I'm just growing up. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. I've got this boyfriend and things change when you're in a serious relationship. OK. But you just seem a bit flat, like you've lost your Lexi. Right. Anyway, um, I've got to get back. Lexi! What is up with you? Nothing. She does seem different. So you just had to go and point that out? I was being honest. You've hardly said anything the whole time you've been here. And then suddenly Lexi comes along and you just... So you want me to be honest with you? Yes. You have no idea. No idea about what? About anything. That's the point. And what are you doing in my college? Why do you care? You're making the stairs look messy. Also, it's a Saturday and I have time to care because Ali's not around being a horrible slave driver. So? I'm visiting my sister, Nyla Malik. Nyla's your sister? You poor thing. That must be really annoying. Don't you like her? No! But everyone likes her. Because they don't know what it's like. To what? Always be in her shadow. always talking about you. It used to be which fashion week you were modelling at, and now it's how you're doing at college and how proud they are. You're the golden girl, and I'm just... Dad was so excited to see you. He didn't even sleep on the plane. He always sleeps on the plane. Not this time. You know he loves you just as much. Since we've got here, he's called you perfect and outstanding. And we haven't even been here long. That's just because I'm not around for him to see how annoying I can be. I'm jealous of you too. Why? Because you get to be at home with Dad's terrible cooking and Mum forcing you to play weird board games. <laughs> And, and if you're having a bad day, Mum can take you out shopping and, and Dad's there to tell you that you're having a drama. I miss it. I miss it so much. Come home, then. I can't. 
I have to make something of my life. Time for going home and being a kid. It's gone now. Do you want a hug? Feels kind of tragic. <laughs> you comforting me? Is it less tragic if we're comforting each other? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you hate it, don't you? You hate it because you're changing and no one's noticed. Right. You stay here. I'll fix this. Hey, Sam. You know that metallic material you've been working on? Uh, yeah, the one we talked about. You mean the one I talked about? You just listened to my wise ideas. All right, Malik, if you need to take all the credit. Actually, I do. <laughs> well, I was wondering if I can see it. Did you use the copper filings? Uh, actually, I've been using some steel. That's not gonna have the same movement. See for yourself. <sighs> okay, wow. Not bad. Can I have just a little bit of that credit now, please? Only if you let me use a bit for a dress for my sister. <gasps> Thanks. Sorry. I didn't know you were here. I'll leave you to it. Or I could stay. If you want, I have cookies. Fine, stay. But I don't want to talk about anything. Good. I hate people talking when I'm trying to watch TV. <laughs> it's brilliant, right? My big sis has skills. She does. And, Lena, you look like an angel. A grown-up angel. That's better. <laughs> ah, here, I got you this. That friend of yours, Lenny, he uh, was wrong. You need more than just soap. Thanks, Dad, but don't worry. I know about soap and other self-care items. Of course. You'll be looking after yourself for quite a while now. Yeah, and so far, no major emergencies. Sometimes, you know, it's just hard for a dad to accept that his little girl doesn't need him anymore. But she does, though. No, I don't. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants you to know that she's growing and changing and needs you to bear with her while she does it. And not get too mad about it. And not get too mad about it. And maybe raise her allowance. Yeah, that sounds good. I forgot how the two of you always gang up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Only because we can. <laughs> You guys never told me what you thought of the Athena. I love it. At this stage of your life, it's just right. What do you mean, at this stage? I'm not sure exactly. It's just when I look at you here, I get one of my feelings. Speaking of which, we should head to the restaurant. Dating isn't really my thing. With me, you're either all in or all out. When I'm with you. I want you to meet my dad. I'd love to. Just be yourself. But not too much. Exactly. And maybe, you know, the stuff about the octopus and your mum didn't go down as well as you think. He's always said the wrong thing. Don't drag me into this. You just don't get what it is to be in love. Does it mean talking like a different person? But you just seem a bit flat, like you've lost your Alexi. No. Then your eyes are red because you've been trying a new makeup effect? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Let's go with that. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Don't know what? <sighs> Anything. I did. I knew who I was and how I felt. But then Dale says stuff about how being in a relationship means you have to be serious and. I just felt my lexiness evaporate. Oh, 
I thought being in love was meant to make you happy, but me and Dale were just... No, 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 Lex, just leave it. You and Dale were what? I, d I don't know. Uh, two sex. No, no, Lex. Don't say anything. Just, I've been thinking about what you said, about what a crazy, stupid thing I did and how to make sure I never act like that again. And I think I figured it out. I need you to be mine forever. Lexi Fitzgerald, will you marry me? I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I love you, but the longer I'm with you, the less I feel like me. Because I'm not mature. And I like going out, and I don't want to change. I'm mostly awesome sauce. It's not mostly. You're amazing. And I didn't mean to. I know you don't mean to, but who I am gets squished under who you are, and I don't want to get squished. But Lex, I love you. Isn't that the only thing that matters? No. Because if you really loved me, you'd want me to be me. Seriously, I'm a manic pixie, a reckless unicorn, and the hottest fairy godmother, all wrapped up in one awesome sauce package. But not when I'm with you. How do they choose these contestants? Oh, uh, no, wait. I know. They round up the biggest hair with the smallest IQs. If you're going to talk, can you at least talk to me? Not over the TV? Nope. What's going on with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Now look at me and say it. Sometimes it seems like everyone has this perfect family with sharing and hugs and... I wouldn't normally care, but I guess... today I do. I think the whole idea of a perfect family is bogus. How come? Families aren't perfect. I grew up with my mum and auntie, and everyone at school was like, where's your dad? Yeah, I got that question. So much fun. Right? Because I didn't need him around. My mum didn't need him around. And my auntie, she didn't like the father of our children either. <laughs> so we ended up living together, and it worked. Mostly. <laughs> but, you know, families can be what you want it to be. You can pick your people. I like that idea. I've missed talking to you. I've missed you. You were cruel to me. I'd just broken up with Sam. It was complicated. And we can't keep ignoring what we have forever. I'm not ignoring it. But, uh... Not everything's about you, Satori. Then why are you still here? I don't want to make it a big thing when it's not. Whatever. Do what you have to do. I don't care. I choose you. You wake me up. Well, I don't choose you. You're just some girl I kissed. No. No, this is not happening again. Why not? Because you broke it. And, and you just snap your fingers and everything's fixed. I might feel pathetic right now. But I'm not pathetic. 
Are you okay? She broke up with Dale. No, I'm okay. You know how I get my happy tears? Well, these are that kind, not the sad kind. Are you sure? Because I've got restaurant leftovers if you want them. Yeah. I'm okay. I feel like something's been lifted. I feel like myself again. I hate to say this, but um, turns out I need a girl's night. I chose the film this time. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone wearing sunglasses and smoking? Seriously, this would never happen in real life. Shh. This is the part where someone dies. 